Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to respond to one request from one of the subscribers of the channel on how to um, create a basic setup on using Koala Sampler inside Drumble by where we can record uh, pressing keys um, from Drumble and therefore triggering pads inside uh, Koala Sampler and recording those inside the sequencer. So it's going to be a beginner tutorial and um, because it's great to do so and help subscribers and it's one way to do it and probably one of the simplest way but not the only way because it really all oh, always depends on what you would like to achieve. So before I continue, I'd like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So we are inside Drumbo standalone version. Let's go to the menu, select new and let's initialize the project. Now let's click on the main track here. And that's the way that I showed it in a previous tutorial. So, and that is where the question um, was uh, um, was sent or was re or a question was request uh, the answer to a question was re um, requested. So I'll continue that tutorial and I'm going to expand. So let's click and hold the yeah, move to um, oops and all like that. Um, so let's move to the right like so, so with that we can insert a new module from the library. Let's scroll down to reveal the search and let's select Koala and then Koala sampler them. And there it is. Now in terms of selecting multi output, so we click here on the input of the first track like so, and then we select the first output there. We do the same on the second track and we select the second output so that we can direct a kick drum here and a snare drum here on the second track. Now let's reveal here the keyboard. Now, um, I don't have anything, of course, being played because I don't have, I haven't loaded anything up inside Koala. So let's open Koala there. Let's click on the button here to have the window floating so we can change the size of it. Let's go to the hamburger menu here and select import audio. Let's go to my audio files folder and now let's load, click and hold here on the snare and I drag and drop these on the second part here and then I search for kick and there it is, click and hold and then I drop these inside the against the first part and I close this window and also this one. Let's press some keys. Nothing. Now you here. That kick, right? If I press any other keys, you don't hear any of the snare. Okay, let's go inside Koala now. Let's click here on the burger menu again and let's go to settings here. Let's go to MIDI and now where it says uh, use MIDI mapping, then select that. So it gives the option then to go map MIDI. We click on that. And then here we select the second part and then we select the D. So you have D1 first part there and we have C1 like so. And then we click stop mapping. Now let's close this window. So first thing you notice is that the snare goes to uh, the first track again, not the second. So go back inside the Koala. Okay, so let's click the second uh, part here. Let's select Edit. And then here it says Sample here and Mix at the bottom. Click on Mix. Then under Main, change that to Output number 2. Okay, now let's try. So you can see now the snare is against track number two. And now you can have fun and record. So click record here, play and try. Okay, so let's stop that and clear that. Click and hold here to delete and that's what we have recorded. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and found the tutorial useful and as always, see you next time.